beautiful, huh? Look at that. Awesome. Well, here's, here's the hose bib cover. And that's what it looks like. And I'll show you how to install it right now. Kaboom. That's what this is for. Okay. And trust me, the hardest... The hardest thing on this job was to take the labels off. There used to be a big, huge label right here with the price tag and stuff. And I pulled that off and it was still sticky. It took me forever. I ended up getting it off with Gooby Gone. Something like that. Kind of like Goof Off, but not Goof Off. This other stuff. It took forever. Because I got four of these. And see, we're gonna hook, we're gonna hook this on the inside somehow on that hose bib. And then we're gonna pull it tight and we're gonna take this thing, push on it and push that right up tight to the wall. Let's see if we can't, let's see if we can't do it. And this is a good thing to do in the winter because it gets cold here really cold and it's gonna snow too okay so there's that there's that hook and we're gonna guess we can hook that right over let's get this there's a little button there you push on that and then and then pull on that And I got this at the store at Home Depot. It was only like three dollars. They had some other ones that were just white. This this is has is white like the others. It just has a plastic cover over it. So see, you, you find that hook, and we're gonna put it over the. Let's see how that's gonna work. Usually the handles are smaller than that. I'm gonna see. No, I don't. I don't want to put it over that. This is rubbery enough. I think it'll stretch to fit over this handle. I hope so. I don't want that to break. Come on. Good grief. So most of them are like a hose bib handle. This one happens to be slightly different. Of course, there. Okay, got that hooked on there. Now I can push that up tight to the wall. And see, that's, that's connected on there. So now I'm gonna push that and just pull it. Pull it up tight. I think I can pull it a little, a little tighter. I'll just push that and then pull on that. That. Yeah. Okay. Three bucks at the store. And that's just gonna protect that and that that's it you just leave it like that leave it like that all winter Let's see if I can't get it just a little bit tighter push that and pull on this there 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 you go that just kind of hangs there and now that's going to protect the hose bib from freezing and breaking or anything that's all you do and we had a hose out here here let's reposition that a little bit like that I can even make it just a hair just a hair tighter okay there we had a hose 
reel out here and if you've got a hose we didn't put it on that but we had it hooked to here with the hose reel we took that and put it inside the garage took the hose all the way out and let all the air let all the water out of it you know you don't want to keep a hose reel outside especially if it's going to be really super cold and if you get snow chances of snow or some nights 30 degrees below not 30 below zero about 30 degrees that's that's uh two degrees below freezing okay and that's all that's all i'm going to do i went around the house counted all the ones on the outside of the house and I've got four so here's another one and I'm gonna put that one out here and there's one there's there's another one up on the deck I I saw that when I I was like oh I'm glad I I'm catching that one I don't know why they have one up there but they do and then in the front foyer there's one and so look all around so all of your exterior hose bibs go ahead and put one of those on they're not very much that's was like three dollars the other ones which are just white without this plastic cover they're just white they glued this one on the, on the white one and those are $1.99 if you want that but I thought this would be better um, instead of just those cheapo white ones but they you can do those too okay all right, that's all I got.